Hello and welcome to episode number five of Crypto Cartography. We have a supply chain altcoin today with a long history. We have 10 minutes. Let's dive in. We are talking origin trail today. Cash tag track, $69 million market cap, little under 25 cents. Um, straight to our circulating supply, about 289 million tokens issued of 5 million uh, fully diluted. We'll get to the token schedule uh, shortly. Uh, quick timeline. We, I mentioned we have a long history here from their Oregon Trail website. Our history goes all the way back to 13 with their alpha version for organic beef products. So they started with, looks like, a beef supply chain as their initial alpha. Moving along, we went to um, a white paper in October 2017, the first purpose-built protocol for supply chains based on blockchain. Then we had our ICO in January 2018. The organization raised about $21 million. Um, the price was about $0.10 cents per track. And if we come back over to CoinGecko, we head to our chart. We're looking at the max log logarithmic chart here. Um, and then we have our token issuance in February 18, a little, you know, a couple of weeks after, at about $0.31. Cents. So we did have a pop from $0.10 cents to $0.31 cents from ICO to initial issuance. Um, but of course, this is one of those tokens that was issued, you know, just at the end of the Bitcoin bull run. Um, and as you can see, it, it it really has been alive just through the bear market of 2000, uh, late 18, 19, um, and early 20. Um, and now it's, as you can see, uh, since COVID, we've actually had a 6,000% gain. I wouldn't let that price increase deter you. Um, we still have a very low market cap and, a, and quite a low price um, in which for a lot of token holders um, who like to hold a lot of, a, a lot of tokens in a, given, in, in, in a given crypto organization, it still has a low price. Um, straight over to investment analysis. Let's say we invested $1,000. Um, based on the $0.24 cent price today, we'd be getting about 4,000 tokens. Um, then we, that would show us our market caps down here based on today's uh, price of $69 million market cap, $120 million fully, fully diluted based on the $500 million um, tokens in total supply. Let's have a look at the token economics real quick. Here is their track tokens in circulation. They do do a quarterly report, which is a quality read on Medium actually. Um, now you see their hard lock. Their hard lock here is all done. So they've issued all of their hard lock uh, tokens, which is great. They do have a soft lock here, and they are going to be issuing about 26.5, um, pretty much most of this remainder here, um, within the coming years for future development fund, liquidity pool, advisors, and bounties. So nothing out of the ordinary, which is good to see. Um, I have tried to estimate our circulating supply when I'm estimating for uh, market caps here as well. So you can see that I've increased the market, the circulating supply all the way up to 500 million based on increases in market cap. If we go from a 60 million, 69 million dollar organization to a 250 million dollar organization, we're at 83 cents. To 1 billion, we're at 250. To 5 billion, we're at 10 bucks. And it, to 25 billion, we're at 50 bucks. So we got obviously some large numbers here um, for a very young organization that already has a long history. Now, potential outcomes. I always like to think we have four outcomes here. We have potential failure and loss of all funds due to failure of the product. We will get into risks um, later in this uh, in this little video. Um, we could sell in the third BTC bull run. Uh, we could look for an exit here in the next year, year or two. We could be looking for that um, zero to 1,000% gains. Um, we could sell in the fourth BTC bull run in five to seven years, looking for you know a billion dollar exit and for returns greater than 2,000%. And of course, we could be a hodl in the network. We could be a network participant. Um, if we also look at this quarterly report, we'll see that track token staked um, has been growing nicely um, since 2019. We're, we're kind of plateauing here at about 7.5 million tokens staked. So we, we are allowed to stake our tokens and participate in the network. If we look down at our portfolio classifications, if you need an altcoin that's based on supply chain and logistics, um, and you don't have that as part of your uh, your crypto portfolio di diversification, this is 
essentially a must buy. Uh, we'll have a look at comparables in a second. They're also going to do enterprise business solutions based on data and supply chains. This is obviously a big data play. This is an air, sea, and land transportation play. So if you're interested in um, airports, ports, trucking, um, Oregon Trail will be touching every single piece of the supply chain. Um, and like I mentioned, actually, I've got this repeated. It's an enterprise business solution. Over to comparables, I looked at three different types of comparables when analyzing Origin, Origin Trail. We've got our supply chain crypto um, comparables that um, symbol from NEM, um, which I hadn't seen before, uh, Trade Lens, which is actually an IBM and Maersk uh, combination blockchain um, initiative, Walton Chain, Ambrosus, which is in the retail space. We've got our big data comparables that aren't exactly touching um, supply chain exactly. You know, we've got big data and Constellation and Ocean and DX Chain and then storage and Siacoin and storage. Now, the big thing about Oregon Trail is we do have non-DLT comparables. We have legacy supply chain multinationals, legacy logistics multinationals, Amazon. They could, you know, just come in and be the uh, massive incumbent in the space. Walmart, Tencent, IBM, Tencent's actually building a wine supply chain uh, blockchain solution right now. Uh, IBM and Maersk have teamed up. We also have MongoDB, CrouchDB, and NEO4J as um, database comparables as well who are non-DLT software. If we head quickly over to this website here, OregonTrailExplained.info, this is a wonderful 20-minute guide into everything Origin Trail. We'll come back to this in just a second. Let's hit the website really quickly, making supply chains work together. We'll also go over to our Word document for our qualitative analysis. So our TLDR investment thesis. Oregon, Oregon Trail Decentralized Network, the ODN, is a purpose-built open protocol for cross-organizational data sharing in supply chains, and it's supported by blockchain. In other words, trusted data sharing for global supply chains based on established global supply chain regulations. Um, this isn't the hardest altcoin to really conceptually understand. Um, this picture pretty much sums it up. right here. We have a fragment of data silos from our primary producers all through our distribution and processing all the way to retailers. Um, pretty much some standard supply chain stuff here. And everybody has their own data sets, their own visibility into pretty much one person linked next to them. Obviously, if we have data interoperability, you can see the blockchain here. Everybody's data goes onto the blockchain and now it's shared between everyone. So people love to talk about these things for you know transparency trust, universal collaboration. I don't care too much about that. I care about reduced costs for the supply chain industry. Everyone's going to be saving money by sharing data. Um, but we do all have all this other good stuff as well. Universal collaborative and trusted data exchange, um, transparency. We have trusted data, um, trusted data exchange again. We have compliance to globally recognized supply chain standards. That is massive. They're already building for GS1, IoT, um, and other compliance standards. Compatibility with existing ERP systems, that's huge. Overcoming data fragmentation, data centralization, massive value proposition. Interoperability. Um, now, there are four major ing 